When I used to teach a course on how to travel in Europe, my concept was be a traveler, not a tourist. Looking again at the four H's of tourism, history plays an important role in the development of a society and may, under certain circumstances, radically modify people's lives. The consequences of history can be identified in two formats. One is what the general public might say acts of God or circumstances for which they have no rational explanation but strange circumstances that prevail as in the development of pestilence and disease. The great influenza epidemic of 1918 cost thousands of American lives, and many older generation will recall that their grandparents perished during that time. What caused that influenza epidemic? In turn, there are the issues of earthquakes, such as the great earthquake of 1906 and the fire that destroyed San Francisco. And subsequent to that, we've had flooding in the Mississippi River and the breaking of the levees and the destruction of New Orleans as a consequence. These are tremendous changes that sweep across a, an area, change people's lives. They look back to the, what it was, they face the issues, they try to rebuild, but they will never escape the memories of those difficult decisions and circumstances that they were obligated to address and somehow resolve. Then there's a second level of complication, I think, that can arise in uh, a society, and we're confronted with that today in the United States, here in 2010 and on into 2011, as we look at the issues of malfeasance in office, whether it's in the banks or uh, public office, but the debt crisis that has arisen, the unemployment, uh, the younger generation that don't remember the Depression, have no concept of what it means to be unemployed, no place to go, no money in the pocket, standing on the street, and there's very deep concern about the next few months in the United States as our government tries to find its way through the turmoil that is represented in this kind of circumstance. And yet these things have happened over and over again in history. Uh, talk, there's talk of devaluating the dollar, but the Roman coins were devalued many times over before they finally disappeared. The coins of the Holy Roman Empire in Constantinople were devaluated a number of times over a period of centuries before the coinage finally totally disappeared. Will the dollar disappear? There's always that possibility. In any event, the issues of, of financial and political concern weigh heavily on the American society uh, as we speak. So as you survey a community, I, going into one for the first time, probably would have some sort of a little guidebook in hand. Maybe it's nothing more than the American Automobile Association tour book, but there'd be something there that would give me a focus to the four of those critical elements that might have affected that group of people and helped to shape their destiny.